Hi, do you hate being told what to do? I know I do. My name is Jolly and today I want to talk about what happens when you don't have accountability in your life. Now, growing up, I was the youngest of four girls and I was always being told what to do. No matter where I went, what I did, it was always said, do this, do that, you know? And so when I left uh, my state in which I grew up, I was so relieved. Uh, and you know what? I wanted to do things my own way. I was like, yes, I'm finally out from underneath my family. I get to do whatever I want. I get to go wherever I want and it's going to be amazing. Fast forward, I uh, gained a, a little bit of my weight back that I had lost. Um, uh, you know, when I initially lost all my weight, I had gained uh, like probably about 15, 20 pounds of that back. And I was like, okay, I need to get this thing off. So what did I do? Instead of reaching out for help, I just read all these books and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this thing. And I tried it. I tried a new thing that I had researched and it worked short term. And guess what? I lost weight and within that same week, I gained it all back. So then I thought to myself, okay, let me try harder. So the next week I did the thing even more, tried even harder, uh, spent more time, more energy into doing the thing the right way. And guess what? I got results. And guess what also? In the same week, I gained all my weight right back that I lost. Week number three, I said, okay, let me try something different. Let me try to be accountable uh, with a group of people. And you know what? At first, initially, it, it worked. You know, I was... Um, uh, being accountable to a couple of people about uh, what I was eating, exercising, all that kind of stuff. And it was cool in the beginning. And I was like, yeah, this is working, right? And then it lost its fizz. It, it fizzled out, right? The glamour, the uh, newness wore off. And by week two, I was like, all right, this is not working anymore because this group even though it's there's accountability, meaning we're all kind of posting in, in the thread, nobody knows what the standard is. Nobody is, no, there is no guidelines. There is no set protocol, no rules to follow. So how are we truly keeping each other accountable? And the truth is that group, it was it's cool, but for me, it didn't work because I was like, how are these people gonna know if I cheated or not? Um, they're not asking, you know, really any questions. I can say whatever I want. So I realized for me, I wasn't really being accountable in that group. So then I was like, all right, God, what, what's going on here? I'm trying all these good things to lose weight and they seem to work, but the, the truth is they are not working because it's now almost one month of trying to lose weight and I'm still, I'm back at square one. I am at the same weight that I started and I'm, it, I've now just wasted almost a month. And so when I sat with the Lord and I said, God, what is going on? He said to me, I want you to think back in your life since the pandemic occurred, since you um, gained this weight, was there anything that yielded good results? Where, and I said, oh yeah, when I was uh, in a particular food program. And he says, okay. And I said, I lost, you know, about nine, 10 pounds in a month. And he's like, perfect. I want you to go back to do that very same thing. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I was irritated. I didn't want to go back to the thing that I knew worked. I know, <laughs> crazy, right? And the reason why I didn't want to go back is because this group is all about um, celebrating you being powerless. And I'm like, no, 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 that is not what I'm about because I am a victor, right? Just like Pastor Joel Osteen of Lakewood says, we are not victims, we are victors, right? So I, we are not victims we are overcomers and so that's what i was saying to me i was like i am an overcomer father and and i this group like just lives in being powerless 
to food. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be a part of that. And God got, got quiet. And I was like, ah, fine. I will go back. I decided to go back to my group, uh, my original group. And I decided to um, just follow, just obey, just do the work. And um, I decided to get a different sponsor than I wanna, the one I had previously. And I think it was um, great for me to do that because this, this uh, sponsor, the current sponsor I have now is just amazing, fantastic, and really speaks to me. And, uh, you know, one thing my sponsor had me do early on is she says, I want you to write about being powerless to food. And I was like, sure, rolling my eyes. But, you know, I did the work. I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And so I began to journal and I just, guys, I wrote out exactly how I felt. I was just like, God, I, I get irritated with the word powerless. I am not powerless. I am powerful, right? I am an overcomer. I am a victor. Everything that I said at the beginning. So I said, God, it pisses me off that I have to uh, write that I'm powerless. And guys, can I tell you what the Holy Spirit was saying to me? He said, Jolly, you are an overcomer. But what's happening is you are equating um, being an overcomer. You think that when uh, they say powerless, the group says powerless, that me you interpret that as you being powerless as a person. That is not true. And I was like, what? And so God had me write the word overcomer, right? Because I kept saying, I am an overcomer. And he says, you are an overcomer. But what if the way to become an overcomer is actually to come under. You are thinking of overcome as a person, as a being to be, but I am saying it as a process. Overcomer is a person, but overcome is a verb. It's an action. It's something to do. So in order to be an overcomer, you have to go through a process. And that process is actually the opposite, requires you being the opposite of the very thing you want to be. So what does that mean? So in order to be an overcomer, you actually have to come under. Does that make sense? In order to overcome, in God's economy, you have to actually come under four specific areas that the Lord showed me. Number one, you have to come under authority. You have to come under somebody's um, authority in order to be an over overcomer in that area. Number two, you have to follow the rules. You have to follow the guidelines, the protocol, and the process that is in place. You don't get to set it. No, that is not the process of overcoming. You have to follow. You have to open your ears. You have to shut your mouth. And you have to listen and follow the guidelines, the protocols, and the rules that are already set in place. Because that which is set in place has been tried and tested and it works. Number three, in order to overcome in a specific area of your life, you have to be accountable. Not only to that, the authority figure, but to the people around you, your colleagues, um, uh, those in fellowship with you in the group or in that area. You have to be willing to share. You have to be willing to hear. Um, and lastly, in order to overcome, number four is that you have to give and you have to serve with your time, 
with your talents and treasure in the area, in the arena that you want to overcome in. Okay, so four things. You have to be willing to submit to authority. You have to be willing to follow the rules, guidelines that are already set. You don't get to set it. Number three, you have to be willing to be accountable to other people. And number four, you have to be, be willing to give and to serve uh, of your time, your talents and treasure in that area that you want to overcome. So whether it is in your finances, ladies, whether it's um, you want to lose weight, whether it's in your marriage, um, you wanting to be a better parent, you want to have a greater style, you want to be a business owner, you want to be the greatest influencer. Listen, I know if you want to be great, if you want to have a, an amazing and massive following, you want your reach to be expansive, you want to be famous, you know, whatever it is, to the level that you want to be great, that is the level that you must come under. That is the level, what does the Bible say? If you want to be the greatest, you know it. You must be the greatest servant of all, right? So in God's economy, God is a God of a, the great reversal, right? What does that mean? What is up with us is often down to God. And what we think is good, God's like, mm -mm, that's wrong, right? So it's the opposite with God. In God's kingdom, it runs completely different and upside down. So in order to be great in whatever area, that you want to be great in, you must come under in that specific area. So if you want to be accountable, if you want to lose 20 pounds, guess what? You have to invest your time. You have to invest money. Stop trying to do it in your own strength. Stop trying to do it all on your own because if you knew how to do it, you would have already done it by now right? So clearly you don't know what you're doing uh, because you are, in a, you are in a problem, you have a problem, and your current mindset is not working for you. So you have to borrow someone else's who's a couple steps ahead of you, who has been there. You can't be accountable to people who are not at the level that you want to reach. You must follow someone who is steps ahead of you or that who you desire to be like, that is the only way it works. Okay, friends? So I leave you with this last question. Do you want to be great? If so, in what area are you holding yourself accountable in that specific area? All right, friends, uh, that's it for me today. I will talk to you soon. Bye.